Oh wow, my equipment is so dusty. I seriously just get allergies by looking at it. All the best people are crazy. All the best people are. What's up, crazies? My name's Jesse, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What? It has been forever. Wait. I just quoted something. Oh my goodness, get over here. It has just been forever. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, you were probably wondering, um, or not, I don't know. It's been a few months. Where is Jessie? What's she doing? Well, the same thing actually. Still going to school, still working a lot, still being super tired, still being sick a lot. I just mastered a week, an entire week. Seven days without speaking a single word. Yes, me. Me, extrovert Jessica. But yeah, actually like, um, there's just one news actually, which is, uh, Ruth B liked one of my comments on Twitter. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> just kidding. I was going through my phone and I found this list and I was like, hey, why not just make a video? So here are 20 random facts about me that nobody asked for, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, unless you click away now, which would be very sad. So here are 20 random facts about yours truly. I love 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 sorting things by color whether it's the dvds on my shelf or the clothes in my closet or even the apps on my phone it's just so satisfying and also sad because i have no hobbies <laughs> fun side tangent more like embarrassing side tangent for me because as you might have noticed by my clothes and by my instagram instagram.com slash crazeful with two l's that over the past few months, um, I have become sort of a fan of K-pop. Yeah, so BTS is pretty dope. Do, do, do. And I have this friend. For my birthday, she got me 56 photo cards of Kim Taehyung, who is a BTS member for those who do not know. BTS is a K-pop band, in case you don't know, for whatever reason. God damn. We're the first ones to get this award, right? Yeah. I think this is like our 107th award this year. They literally made this award for us, so I, I don't know. If that doesn't tell you how iconic we are, I, I don't know what will. And the other day I was like, hey, I still have these pictures. I don't want to throw them away. Then I was like, hey, I can sort them by color. And I did. And I was like, hey, I can hang them up in my room. And so I did. And now my closet is full of like 50 pictures of this one Korean person and I realized that it like for anyone who does know me just comes to my room and was like whoa okay <laughs> this is the room of a 13 year old fangirl my gosh Isabel what have you done to me look at me look at my closet I have a secret guilty pleasure of dancing off to Barbie songs whether it's doing the dishes, cleaning my room, doing the laundry, even on the sidewalk sometimes. Barbie songs are dope. Dope, dope, dope. The older ones. I think maybe it's just nostalgia in me. I know you do the two, because I'm just like you. You're just like me. There's somewhere else we'd rather be. Somewhere that's. I yeah, Barbie's dope. Dope, dope, dope. If I could eat only one food for the rest of my life, it would be popcorn. When I was a child, and I do not know if this is Harry Potter influenced or not, I honestly thought that people in pictures could like see me IRL, that like every time you turn away, they would like whisper and talk and like just see you. So when I would like change clothes, I would either turn around so they couldn't see me or I would like take a t-shirt and just cover them up, change and then put it down. And sometimes when there was like a picture next to my bed, I would put something on there too at night because I didn't want them watching me while I was sleeping. I was a weird kid, but a cute kid. Was cute? Have you seen his face? <laughs> mm, excuse me. This is a sad fact, but it's a true fact. And it's a fact that I acknowledge and I'm very sorry for. I take forever to answer to text messages. I think the oldest message, unread message I have is a year old. <laughs> the person probably hates me. I just get so many of them. 
which sounds wrong. I just really want to take my time to let them know that I care about them, but then like I forget to answer and then like I don't answer. It probably has the opposite effect of me seeming that I don't care at all. Yeah, this is a problem. I just feel overwhelmed by it. Just all the messages. And I so many times was just this close to just deleting my messaging apps because I'm like, ugh, too much. Oh, somebody liked a message I sent. I'm in a BTS group chat. Shout out to my girls and boys, if we even have boys in this group chat. But they're awesome people. Sarangia! I love you guys. Moving on. I can't go one day without playing the piano. I seriously get withdrawal symptoms if I don't play for a day. I remember one time on vacation, I wasn't able to play the piano for three weeks. Let's just say I survived. When I was little, I was a very creative kid with very, very big imagination and also easily bored, but also easily entertained. When I felt bored, I would use my hands and pretend that they were dinosaurs. And I don't know if you can tell, these are two bronchiosaurus... Brachiosaurus? Bronchiosaurus? Dinosaur. Long necks. They would meet and then they were like, cuddle, or I don't know, just be mad at each other and fight. Dinosaur, cool. Okay, bye. I don't know, you should try it. I Like, it's seriously dope. Talk, talk, talk. I need friends. I need a life. The cliche that girls always have really beautiful handwriting does not apply to me. Which brings me to the next fact, which is that I'm actually left-handed. But I write with my right hand, but I can eat with chopsticks with both hands. I can't cut pizza elegantly. It always looks like I'm murdering the pizza. So, um, if we like ever meet and hang out, don't invite me to go and have a pizza. Unless you're the one cutting the pizza, then we can go and have a pizza. But you don't want me to cut pizza or cake. You, you don't want that mess. Trust me. Do you know Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon? Best movie ever. When I blow my nose, it sounds like Toothless laughing. <laughs> I love curry. I put curry in everything. I don't like daylight savings. I think it's unnecessary. It messes, I feel like, with nature and the animals and just the entire system. I love vacuuming the kitchen. The sound it makes when it sucks up like breadcrumbs and stuff, it's just, it's just so satisfying. I don't know. Don't judge me on this. And please also don't think that I'm weird or a stalker, but I really, really like people watching. I'm not a creep. I just like to analyze their body language and analyze their facial expressions and like wonder about their life situation, about their relationship status, you know, what they're doing in life, what their dreams are. It's fun being a mentalist that way, I think. Are there any other people out there or am I the only creep staring at people? No, only me? Okay. I love strolling through furniture shops like Ikea. I just like imagining what it would be like to live in one of those rooms that they sit up, which is probably the intention. Me and my sister when we were kids, that was like always the highlight. Not not the Ikea food, which is dope. Talk, talk, talk. But it was actually going through these rooms and like we would pretend that we would live in these rooms and we would pretend that we were sisters. I like K-pop a lot. Money, money, money. Money, money. And I am Team Marvel. Fight me. I sometimes forget to lock the stall in public bathrooms. Not a good habit, I think. And last but not least, I always carry a pack of chopsticks in my purse. Wow, I think that's 20 facts. Random facts about me that, again, nobody asked for, but there you go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But let me know in the comments down below if any of these facts were like not surprising or like you're like, oh my god, me too. Like we're weird together. Woo! I don't know when there's gonna be a next video. I do have some ideas. I just don't know how and when. Yeah, but thank you for watching. If you want to see more of me, especially because I'm not that present on YouTube anymore, feel free to follow me on my social media. You'll find all the links to them down below. Be blessed. See you sometime in the future. Bye! By the way, I have Namjoon on the back of my phone. 
I'm not a, a crazy fangirl. Mm-mm.